question, how much do you have to earn to be middle class in Texas? And United Delta American are among airlines suing the Biden administration over its new fee disclosure rule. Jane King is live in the Nasdaq in New York with these stories and more. So welcome, Jane. How's it going? <laughs> Good. I hope you're doing well also. You know, Sharon, a coalition of major airlines is suing the Biden administration over that new rule that requires the airlines disclose extra fees on purchases. Airlines for America, so that's the group, said that this will confuse consumers. They'll be inundated with information. It will complicate the ticket buying process. The department's new rule requires the airlines disclose extra fees before the customers make the final purchase. And that includes fees for check bags, carry-on bags, changing canceling reservations, seat upgrades, things like that. Go banking, <coughs> Go banking rates found that it took a nearly 42% increase in income to remain in the middle class from 2012, the midpoint of the Obama administration, to 2022, the middle of the Biden administration. Now in Texas, the middle class income range in 2022 is $48,000 to $146,000, and the increase in pay over the past 10 years to remain in the middle class in the state was 41%. Well, a new study has found that American consumers now spend 30% of their monthly food budgets on restaurants. That's down from 40% two years ago. According to Nation's Restaurant News, 64% of consumers said they would visit a restaurant every day if they could. Many, though, say inflation had caused them to reconsider how they spend their food budgets. Sharon? I can see that. We like food around here for sure. But another question for you. you okay, these airlines talking about that it would be too complicated for us when it comes to the fees and breaking it down, I would kind of like to know all the fees that I'm paying for personally. I'm with you. I, I think because you, you'll buy a plane ticket or, you know, you, you reserve one. And then when you go to check out, it's $100 or $80 more right? than what you originally thought it was going to be. So if they could, do, I mean, I think this is a good use of, you know, just consumer transparency. But the airlines are fighting it. They're trying to, to prevent that from coming because people may not pay as many fees. Yeah, so. <laughs> or protest the fees that they pay out because I'd be like, where's my money at? Where's my money going? Where's yeah. my money? <laughs> yeah. Jane, always good to see you. Always good to see you. Listen, take care. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, Adam, what do you think? Would you?